Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Seth Julian, welcoming me to today's morning coffee briefing. We're going to talk about armaments manufacturers, in particular Thales Ordnance, uh, Rheinmetall, and Lockheed Martin. The graphs that they're uh, plotting are virtually identical. They're all up. His, this is uh, Thales, 56.7%. We know what this fateful date is. This is the 24th of February when warfare breaks out on the European landmass. We'll take a look at Lockheed Martin, pretty much the same story. Lockheed Martin is Uncle Sam's largest contractor. That's up 16.4% since uh, the 25th of February. And we'll take a look at um, Rheinmetall. Rheinmetall is Europe's one of Europe's largest armaments manufacturers, particularly armor and uh, cannon barrels. So anything that fires a weapon from a RHM is anything that fires weapons from a large bore uh, barrel is is made by Rheinmetall, aside and plus a ton of uh, arm uh, armor. Rheinmetall, 106.73%. Now, um, these are unbelievable jumps, and it is just the beginning. Remember, what the uh, Allies are shipping to Ukraine uh, in materiel is uh, inventory from from uh, armories. They have they are going to have to replace that inventory, and probably then some, to combat the Russian army. So these uh, pickups in stock price are just the beginning. They're going to go higher, and they're going to go higher for longer. All of the charts you'll notice had the, excuse me, had the same phenomena of in extraordinary volume above the 20, above the 50, above the 200-day moving average, and by a long shot. Slope is clear. Intention is strong. Sentiment is powerful. Rheinmetall, Lockheed Martin, and Thales, the world's largest, uh, some of the world's largest armament manufacturers on the move. So unfortunately... Um, these stocks are going to be doing very, very well in the near future, ladies and gentlemen. And on that sad note, I wish you all the ability to trade with confidence. Bye-bye for now.